Well, hello everybody. My name's Louise Savage of Louise Savage Muses. Welcome to my channel if you've not visited me before and uh, if you're returning, welcome back. Um, so, yesterday I was lucky enough to meet up with the lovely Simon Savage of Savage Reads um, and we had a fantastic time um, watching, or I had a fantastic time, watching um, story trails set up in Wolverhampton. Um, and I also had to go trying out the technology where you walk around the streets and you get this augmented reality experience. It was fantastic. Um, and later on today, in fact, in about an hour's time, I'm off on my jolly holidays. I'm very lucky um, to be travelling abroad um, this afternoon. So I'm very excited about that. But before I do, um, Simon very kindly passed on a lovely bag full of books, which I thought I'd share with you. I had a brief look at them yesterday, um, but I can't quite remember what's in there. I can remember some of them um, and I haven't got my glasses on, so anything could happen. But anyway, let's have a look. Let's dig into this fabulous bag full of lovely books, some of which I may or may not take with me on my travels. So first up, oh my goodness, the wonderful, wonderful Rose Tremaine. I absolutely adore her, every single one of her novels. Um, in fact, um, there's one called, oh my goodness, my brain's gone, but it's about a Polish um, immigrant to this country. I want to say The Road, but that's totally wrong. Um, anyway, it's one of my all time favourite books. So here's Lily. I don't know who Lily is. Nobody knows yet that she's a murderer. Oh, sound brilliant, <laughs> right from the off. Uh, it's London, it's the um, 1800s, uh, it's clearly some sort of mystery story. I'm really, really looking forward to getting my teeth into that. Um, oh, Memphis, Tara M. Stringfellow. I know nothing about this novel. Jacqueline Woodson likes it. She wrote Red at the Bone and I really enjoyed that novel a few years ago. Um, written with the grace of a poet. Oh, sounds like my sort of thing. Memphis is as hopeful as it is heartbreaking. Oh, I fell in love with this family. So there's a, it looks like it's some sort of family saga. I don't know whether it is set in Memphis, T Tennessee. It doesn't say. It's all about, all the blurb on the back is about um, the uh, the style of writing, which, you know, I think, sorry, I'm blocking myself, hiding behind the book. Um, so yeah, and just an amazing colour, colour, amazing cover with beautiful colours. I love the yellow title. So yeah, that will be a real, Robert Jones Jr. loves it. Chloe Benjamin loves it. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really beautiful and a nice sensible size of font as well. I won't be taking that with me because it's hardback. It's going to be too heavy. Um, oh, I've been waiting to get my hands on this for so long. Um, this is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. Are you feeling scared yet of the monstrous head with no beard? With no beard, with no heart. I really ought to put my specs on. Perhaps you should. So this is Natalie Haynes's take on the story of Medusa, as you can see from this fantastic cover. Um, Stone Blind, it's all shiny and metallic and wonderful. Um, this is Medusa's story, hashtag stone blind, there you go. Um, because I have nothing left to lose except my two sisters. I hope my two sisters aren't watching, they might be a little bit scared. Um, anyway, there we go, that's um, Natalie Haynes, stone blind, marvellous. What else is in here? Oh wow, yes. Now I must take this on my travels, I haven't opened it yet. It's a book fan. What a great idea, look, it it's, looks like the the edges of a novel. I don't know if I can, oh dear, um, open it and give it a go. Let's see. Um, there we go, look at that. Oh, and it's, I didn't realise, oh, that's lovely, I'm taking that with me. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but the inside, it's, it's made from the pages of a book. And it's beautiful, look at that, who knew? Oh, I recommend if, you, if you're travelling or you live in a warm country. There we go. Book fan. That's going on my packing pile. Um, oh, yes. The sequel to The House... No, no, this is The House of Fortune. The Secret. The Secret. The sequel. Oh, my goodness. You can see I'm distracted by my travels. Um, the sequel to The Miniaturist by the wonderful Jessie Burton. Absolutely 
love her writing and love her as a person. She's wonderful. Um, and I think just so, so talented. Um, I love this burgeoning talent of all these young um, writers. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. And Simon has told me that it's quite different in tone um, from The Miniaturist. Again, it's a bit heavy to put in my luggage, but um, it'll be lovely, won't it, to get back from holiday and dive into some of these. Yeah, wonderful. And uh, I love the way the cover is similar. You know, it's a similar, you can tell it belongs with the original novel. It's up there somewhere, I should have got it down. Um, but it's also distinctly different. Yeah, really looking forward to that. Um, oh, and it's a signed exclusive edition as well. Oh, and it's good. Look at look at the spreaders on that. It's beautiful. Green seems to be really fashionable at the moment. When I met Simon yesterday, not that he's necessarily a beacon of fashion, but he's certainly more fashionable than I am. There we are. It's been signed. Yeah, there we go. Um, he was wearing green and it really suited him. Uh, next up, Trespassers by Louise Kennedy. I think this is a debut. Yeah, Observer Best Debut Novelist of 2022, and I love a debut. Um, intense, unflinchingly honest, it broke my heart a million times. There's a lot of very sort of deep tragicness in this bag. A beautiful, devastating novel. Kennedy's writing is beautiful. That's um, Sarah Moss. Uh, I hardly have words of how viscerally this book affected me, how much it moved me. I don't know what it's about. A compulsively readable, oh, it's a love story. True, honest, heartbreaking and tender. One by one, she undid each event, each decision, each choice. If Davy had remembered to put on a coat, if, oh, it sounds really like something really awful is going to happen. There's nothing special about the day Kushler meets Michael, a married man from Belfast in the pub, owned by her family. But here... Love is never far from violence, and this encounter will change both of their lives forever. So uh, I love a novel set in um, Ireland too. I've just read um, Before My Actual Heart Breaks, which I really can't wait to talk about. Um, but that will have to be for another um, video. And finally, last but certainly not least, look at that for a cover. The wonderful, fabulous, marvellous Juno Dawson, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. Um, and she's very kindly, I did, I was lucky enough to meet Juno at the um, Women's Prize um, celebrations and um, bless her, she's, she's put <laughs> inside here to Louise, welcome to the coven, a bit scary but a bit brilliant. Um, so yeah, I feel really uh, very lucky to have this in my hand. This is one government department you won't want to mess with, um, Her Majesty's Royal Coven. Juno Dawson's at the top of her game. It's a meticulous take on witchcraft. And I know this is really zipping off the shelves. I think it's, I think this and House of Fortune actually are doing really well on the uh, UK bestseller list at the moment. So good luck to them. So there we go. The bag is now empty. I need to go and finalise my packing, check I've got everything I need. Um, so I don't know whether I'll manage to drop a video next week or not. I'm going to try and post this before I go fingers crossed uh, if I can get the technology to work um, so whatever you're doing whether you're working whether you're playing um, I hope you're all well and um, enjoying life um, and I will report back on my travels um, at some point in the near future take care everybody bye <laughs>